Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of December 5th through the 11th. And for this week, I'm going to be using the Santa Claus kit from Glam Planner. This is a reformatted kit, exclusive artwork, and this is in the luxe kit format. And I think I've said it before, but the Santa Claus is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. I still have not seen the reboot series yet. I'm sort of putting it off because I'm kind of scared it's going to ruin the movie for me. But either way, I still wanted to use a Santa Claus themed kit this year. Year, so this is the one I'm going to be using this year because I used SPC's version last year. Now that is the kit. I do have the double box that came with it and I picked up the label sampler and I'm going to be pairing the kit with sparkly red. Now I have this partial foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co in the star format so I just have four pages of the foil bundle here which looks a little something like that. I do have one of the custom script samplers from Planet Hannah in her November font of the month. So it's no longer available, but it's like a candy cane striped pattern, which I thought was super cute. I got it in her sparkly red. And then also from Planet Hannah, I have the candy cane striped underlays in her sparkly red. And there's like little stars in the actual foil which I think is so cute and it's going to match the spread perfectly but anyways without further ado I'm going to go ahead and put down the base of the spread and I'll be right back well I hope everyone had a fantastic week so this week the big event for me was that I wrapped up my second bachelor's degree I am so excited to finally be done with school forever I am just like so relieved to be done because I just want to get on with my life and like get on with adulthood you know what I mean so I'm very happy to be done I took my last final on Tuesday of this week and I if I would have gone to graduation graduation would have been on Friday but I think I've talked about it before the only graduation I've ever been to was my high school graduation and I just felt like it was boring and a waste of time so I have not been to any of my college graduations and I do not regret it so I spent after I got done with my last final I spent the rest of the week just relaxing reading books, packing, watching shows, and all that fun stuff. Like, it feels good to be done. Now I get to get on with, like, the stress of, firstly, packing up my apartment and getting out of here. I don't technically have to be out of my apartment until December 31st. However, I don't want to, like, go home for the holidays and then have to come back up here and move out and stuff like that. So I just rather be completely out of my apartment before Christmas and stuff like that. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm spending the next week and a half focusing on packing and getting my stuff out. I'm thankful that I live close enough to my parents' place that I don't have to worry about like getting a U-Haul and towing that and all that fun stuff. Like I can just make multiple trips like with my car and my dad's truck and stuff and get everything out. So that's nice. Actually, the day that I'm doing this voiceover is Sunday. So the day you guys are seeing this, Monday, I'll be making like my first load, my first trip back to my parents' house with a load of stuff in my car. So yeah, super exciting. And then after that, I get to worry about finding a job, which has been so stressful. Like, I don't even want to think about it. Like, I just, I hope that by the end of January, I'll have a job lined up. If not sooner than that. Hopefully sooner than that. But yeah, that's like what I am aiming for because I don't want to live with my parents forever and I want to have a place of my own that I can... I've lived on my own for a while and I've had my own apartment and stuff like that. But like all the stuff in my apartment for the most part is just like hand-me-downs like it's very like bare bones minimum like a typical like college student apartment and I just really want to like get my own place buy like nice furniture and decorate and make it my own and I'm just like that's what I'm most looking forward to so we'll see I've been it's been hard trying to focus on job job hunting right now just because 
I'm trying to pack up my apartment and stuff like that and I haven't like allowed my time myself enough time to like sit down and like get all that stuff taken care of plus I'm waiting on my transcript to be updated for my university with my updated GPA because a lot of jobs ask for your GPA when you're applying and I just I somehow magically managed to end the semester with all A's so I know that that'll bump up my GPA just a little bit so I want to wait until that's updated before I continue applying for jobs so that I can have that updated GPA there but we'll see I'm still trying to like the main focus is to stay in Texas like for sure um but as far as like actual locations I'm trying to focus my job hunting on Austin and Houston obviously like the goal is to get a job period and I'd be happy like anywhere in Texas but like ultimate goal is Austin and Houston just because well Austin is just I grew up in Austin. I'm very familiar with Austin. I lived there for 16 years. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really familiar with it. And it's just, like, an ideal location because it's, like, an hour and a half, like, smack dab in the middle between my sister and my parents. So if I ever needed anything, if I were to travel or something, like, I could very easily drop Winnie and Figaro off with either one of them. But other than that, Austin is, like, not... Like, I wouldn't be super thrilled to go back just because of, like, the cost of living in Austin is so high right now and traffic. Like, I don't want to deal with, like, rush hour traffic in the morning or evening. So, there's that. But, and then Houston is just someplace I want to live because it's near the coast and it's a big city. There's lots to do and I just love Houston. I don't know. So, we'll see how that goes. Send me all of your good vibes for the job hunting situation because I need it <laughs> and yeah anyways I guess we will go ahead and start talking about this week because we're at the day today so the first thing I marked down on Monday was that I uploaded a video and then I did some YouTube binge watching after that I needed I've been doing some de-stashing because I've been packing and finding things that I don't need so I've been doing a lot of de-stashing so I printed out some labels I didn't have like a printer sticker that matched this spread so I pulled in that little Santa Claus character sticker from SPC just to add a little bit of festive character stickers to the spread and I had nothing else to use so yeah if you guys don't already know I am a part of SPC's affiliate team so you can use code ELISA10 to save but anyways I went to the post office after that and then on my way home I got Whataburger for lunch and then I marked down that there was like so much noise from the construction going on outside of my apartment so I found it very difficult to study for my final and I don't know how. I took my final, first off, I pulled an all-nighter going into Tuesday. I don't know why. Like, I I didn't stay up studying. I just, like, couldn't. Like, I have such bad test anxiety. And I was just stressed out about it. And, yeah, I, I ended up unintentionally pulling an all-nighter. I ended up getting up at about, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, like, up out of bed to start studying. And then I took my final at 8 a.m. And I managed to get somehow a 100 on my final. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how I did that because I didn't start studying for it until like Monday night because it was a coding exam and coding exams are so hard to study for but yeah I somehow managed a 100 on the final and I get to keep my A in the class which was like a miracle and I was so excited for. I was so stressed about this exam like I was scared I wasn't even going to get like the 20 I needed to pass the course like let alone 100 to keep an A like it was just yeah but it happened so yay me and then after that with the little once more with love uh, munchkin I marked down that I was officially done with school and I immediately after the final I walked my butt home and I changed it back into my pajamas and I went right back to bed because if I did not take a nap I was not gonna be able to like function the rest of the day so that was fun and then after that I got Taco Bell for dinner to celebrate being done and then I binge watched some of the Fear of the Walking Dead so yeah 
Moving on to Wednesday, I marked down that I slept in and I uploaded another video. I got McDonald's for breakfast and then I marked down that I picked up some of SPC's new releases this day, which was nice. I was, it's been a while since I picked up new releases from SPC, so it was nice to get some of those. And then I marked down that maintenance came by my apartment. They... My dishwasher has been broken for a while and I haven't really, like, I haven't really bothered doing anything about it, but about a week ago, or not even a week ago, like three weeks ago, it started, like, leaking water onto my floor and maintenance cut off the water to the dishwasher and they said I needed a new one and I told them, you know what, I'm going to be out by the end of the month and I don't even use it so like just wait until I'm out and they didn't listen they ended up showing up with the dishwasher when all I wanted to do was like lay in bed all day Wednesday but whenever that got taken care of and then I marked down that I FaceTimed my sister and read a book I read Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid which was like a short story that I finished in like an hour it was like 88 pages and it was pretty good so yeah and now moving on to Thursday First thing I marked down was that I was super frustrated just because of lack of sleep with Figaro and whatnot. I did some filming this day and then I marked down that my Wi-Fi went out. My Wi-Fi was out from 2 p.m. to like 10.30 p.m. after I already had gone to bed. Apparently like a construction crew cut off like the main line to the servers for the city so several Wi-Fi provider companies were out including mine and it took forever to get fixed so I marked down that that was out and I was bored out of my mind so I ended up taking a nap and doing some more reading. I started The Inmate by Frida McFadden this day which was so good so incredibly good. I ended up finishing it on Saturday morning I believe but it was I gave it four out of five stars. I'm starting to like I realize that Frida McFadden is probably going to be one of my favorite mystery thriller writers because we're two for two right now and all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited if you guys are interested in trying her out. Highly recommend. But anyways, moving on to Friday, I woke up, uploaded a video, marked down that I got a boatload of happy mail, and then I had a lazy day. I did some TV watching, organized some stickers because I have had months and months and months of doodles and scripts come in and I just have not put them away in my sticker organization. So I took the time to finally get all that stuff put away on Friday so that I could wouldn't have loose sheets of stickers to like move and stuff. Like they're all in a binder and it's nice and I'm very happy that I finally did that. And then after that, I called my dad and talked to him for a little bit to get like a plan worked out as far as like when he's going to drive up here and help me move out and all that fun stuff. And then I did some packing. Saturday, I marked down the first thing was that Figaro woke me up at one o'clock in the morning. I was very happy about that, as you guys can imagine. But I knew he wasn't going to let me go back to bed until he was fed and I refused to feed him before 5 o'clock in the morning. So I stayed up and I finished reading The Inmate this day. So yeah, bright and early, finished The Inmate. I After I finished that, it was about time for me to feed him. So I fed him and Winnie, took Winnie out to potty, and then I went right back to to bed because he was finally settling down after having his burst of energy at one o'clock in the morning. And then I also marked down that I went to the grocery store. After that, I had a movie night. I don't remember what I watched, but I watched something. And then I marked down that we had like crazy thunderstorms here. It's been a while since we've had like a serious thunderstorm and we got like Really bad lightning, really bad thunder. Figaro and Winnie were not happy about it, but I surely enjoyed it. So I had to mark that down, and then I tried to go to bed early. But again, I'm a very sensitive sleeper, so... Or I guess I'm a very light sleeper, I should say. So anytime there's a thunderstorm or anything, I'm up until it's over. So I marked down that I went to bed early. I tried, but I don't. I feel like it was pretty late before I actually ended up going to bed. So... Yeah, anyways, moving on to Sunday, 
first thing I marked down was I woke up early and started packing because I wanted to take as much boxes with me on Monday when I go to my parents' place. So I'm going to be packing my car up to the brim. So did that. I had to pay a bill this day and then I marked down that I had a really bad tummy ache in the morning. So I took a break from packing and just relaxed for a little bit and took some meds to hopefully settle my stomach and then after that I did my usual Sunday so you guys know the drill pulled stickers filmed did this voiceover all of that jazz and yeah that is pretty much it for this plan with me I hope you guys enjoyed as always I'll have all the shops featured in this video linked in the description box down below as well as any coupon codes or referral links I have for them please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye